A KMT reform proposal by former party secretary Li Sichuan recommends scrapping the upcoming 10th KMT CCP forum and annual dialogue between the KMT and China. Former party vice chairman Ha Longbing opposed the recommendation. Now, former party chairman Eric Chu suggested keeping the forum, though potentially in a different focus. The KMT CCP forum began in 2006 with the KMT and China's Communist Party using the 1992 consensus as a basis of dialogue. Now former KMT Secretary General Li Sichuan is suggesting ending the annual forum, triggering intense debate within the party. In the past, when we've hosted the KMT CCP forum, Taiwan has received many benefits, though some have been critical, saying that we are inclined to China and haven't shared such cross strait benefits with the people. Former KMT Chairman Eric Zhu believes the forum should continue, but with a different focus. With the KMT becoming the opposition party, I think that we can exchange ideas about non-governmental issues and a forum, though it doesn't need to be as big as in the past. The KMT said that party chairperson Hong Shou Zhu has been in office for less than a week and is currently focused on personnel and staffing. Later, when a handover of power within the party is completed, she will carefully consider the issue of party reform in the future direction of the KMT.